This video is answer to the question that I received from one of my Udemy students. We want to see how we can use a combo box to filter the columns, not the rows, columns in a data table in Power Apps. Without wasting time, let's get into it. Let's start with the setup. I have an Excel sheet that I've uploaded that to OneDrive. So I can easily access this Excel sheet from Power Apps. It can be the data from everywhere, from SharePoint, from SQL, from anything that Power Platform has a connector to. Easiest thing that is available to everyone is my OneDrive. And that's it. And we want to use Power Apps to filter the columns for the data that is coming from this Excel sheet. This is the Excel file that I have. The only thing that I need to change is the data field that I have here for the date. It's called order date because it's date data type and Excel saves the date in a weird format that Power Apps doesn't like it. We need to convert it to text to make it readable for Power Apps. So I just add another column here and I call it order date, just to make it look a little bit different. And the value inside it, I want to use the formula text and I get the value from here. And then I need to add the format, which is gonna be year, month, and day. I close this and I press enter. You will see it looks exactly the same way, but this value is actually text. Great. So I just save it and just make sure you close it before you open it inside Power Apps. I close this, we go inside Power Apps, and I want to create a new app. This new app is going to be Canvas App, Combo Box, Filter for columns. Weird name, but that's okay. I click on Create, and the app is created. Now, inside this app, first thing I want to do is I want to create a connection to that Excel sheet. So I click on this that icon, and I want to add a data connector. Data connector is going to be Excel. I use Excel Online for business. Click. On the top of the list, I have OneDrive for business. I click on it, OneDrive, and I go to Power Apps Demo. The file that I have is going to be is order sample. I click on it, and it shows me the sample orders, which is the table inside it. I click on Connect, and bingo. The connection is created, and I have all the data inside this app. Now it's time to use it. So let me click on this plus, and I want to search for data table. I add the data table here, and I pick the sample orders. Of course, the data table is not going to show me anything because I haven't selected the field that it's supposed to display. So let me make it a little bit bigger. And I click on Edit Fields. And I start adding the fields. Now you see we have one order date that was there and another order date that I created to have it calculated. Let me show you quickly why I did that. So if I click on Add Now, you will see that the original one doesn't show me anything because of the special format that Excel uses to save date type. It's not our topic, so I don't want to get into the details of it. So let me just go to the tree view. And now this is the time to add the other fields. So I click on Edit Fields. So I don't need this order date that came originally with the Excel sheet. I remove it, and I click on Add Field, and I add the other fields that I want to use here. So I go for, for example, item, region, rep, unit cost, units, and finally the total. I click on Add, and all the fields are added to this data table. Great. So, so far, we did just the basic setup. Now you want to have a combo box that can show or hide some of these columns. What I want to do, I want to say order date and order item. I want them to be displayed all the time. But users can pick region, rep, unit cost, units, or total based on the combo box that I want to provide here. 
During runtime, we are not adding or removing columns to this data table. All the columns that we want to display, they are here. The ones that we don't want to show, we just hide them. I go to this plus sign and I add a combo box, simply because combo box can be multi-select. It's added here. And I need to add the name of these columns as the items to this combo box. Let me just rename it to CB underscore selected fields. I miss a spelt. All right, no worries. Okay. Let me make it a little bit bigger. All right. And now the available items for this combo box should be the column names. Let me just open that Excel sheet again. This is the field that Power Apps added. We don't worry about it. All I want at the moment is the name of the fields that I want to hide and show. I copy them. I close it. I paste it inside Notepad to convert it into an array. Right? And these tabs, it's very simple. I just replace these tabs with double quote, comma, double quote, and I say replace all. All right, so we have a JSON array. I copy it here, and now for the items that this combo box should present, I can paste them here, right? So I have the list of the columns that can be displayed or hidden. Now the work starts. I pick the region. When the region is selected, I can say make it visible when self, which refers to the column itself, dot field display name. If this value is in combo box selected field dot selected items, right? So let's review it again. So if the column has a field displayed name that is among the selected items of this combo box, show it or make it visible. Otherwise, hide it. Let's see if it works. So let me just run it. At the moment, it doesn't show me the region, but if I click on this drop down and I pick region, it's going to be displayed. Can we do the same thing with everything else? Absolutely. So all I need to do, I need to copy this expression, pick the rep one, we go for visible again, and we paste the same value here, exactly the same way we go to the unit cost. I can pick visible either from here or I can click on this visible here. They both bring me to the same location. So let me just paste it again. Next one, again, visible. Same thing, total, again, visible, and the same thing, right? Let me just save it. Whatever the name is, it doesn't matter. I don't want to share it yet. Let me just run it and see if it works. So at the moment, I have order date, item, region. But if I want to add more fields here, you will see more fields are added. And if I just click on here and I want to remove, for example, rep, it's going to take out rep. Anyway, and in any case, order date and the item stay here. Even nothing is selected in the selected item in the combo box. Oh, by the way, did you like this video? This is the time. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.